My name is Mike Smith. Uh, I'm the GIS manager here at the City of San Angelo, and today I just wanted to show uh, an in-depth uh, overview of the uh, enhanced search tool. By default, when you open up the public viewer, this tool is, is preloaded. It's this icon, the binoculars. Um, as, you, as you open this tool, you'll notice that across the top of the tool, uh, if you hover over these, you'll actually get some tool tips that pop up and you have some different options for search abilities. By default, your underscore here, just like uh, at the top, the underscore is showing that we have an active tool. Well, this is the active icon inside of this tool. Uh, by default, it goes to this one. Um, basically, this allows us to do a text search uh, of, this of this certain layers on this map. Uh, by default, it starts off with the address layer. We can hit the drop down button. I can search streets. I can search tax parcels by tax number. Or we can even search subdivisions. This, you, you can also do uh, under this uh, graphical search tool, um, you can use a drawing. You can point to a location. You can draw a line. You can draw a rectangle or a polygon freehand. And this is how you clear your searches. Again, be sure that whichever layer you're trying to do a graphical search on, uh, you've got to have it selected here, and we'll cover that in here in just a minute. This, this third set of binoculars here is basically a buffering tool. If you want to buffer a distance of a selection, say 50 feet from a tax parcel, uh, you can do that, and, and you can select some data and some information off of that. So again, by, and, and, and then you have a default, you have a uh, show results in grid. Uh, we'll cover that in just a moment too. And by default, we'll just start off with this first, we'll just do an address search to begin with. And one thing to keep in mind on this is that if you're not sure if it's, uh, if a street ends in like Avenue or Boulevard, it's, it's best to type less because it is looking for an exact search. Um, also, uh, 72 West College Avenue, um, that's just one of the examples I put in, but you, you could type in here 72 West C-O-L-L, -L, and it's going to return everything with those uh, letters in there. Um, again, if you don't know the ending or you don't know the, the, the exact spelling of the street, this is kind of something to keep in mind. If you're, if you're confident on the address, then you can go ahead and type that in, and it will return those results. And it's not case sensitive, so... It's going to perform a search here. It found a match. And, and again, this is searching on the address layer, not on the streets. We can zoom to that location. And, and again, go up to your more. We can look at points of interest in the area. We can look at water and sewer lines in the area, zoning, things like that. To get back, we'll just click on this icon again. And we'll show you. Here's another search on the streets. Same thing on the streets. Again, type in less information to, re to, to get more results. So if you want to type in, uh, if you don't know if it's Smith Avenue, Smith Boulevard, just put Smith, hit search, it's going to return any of those. <clears throat> You'll notice on here that it tells you that if you're looking for an address in the 400 block, that information is included here. So we can go to the 400 block of Smith Boulevard, or we can go to the 2600 block of Smith Boulevard. You can roll your mouse wheel, scroll down this list, um, you'll notice that this actually is in SJT, uh, which is San Angelo. This Smith Road is actually in Tom Green County. And basically to get to these, we can just click on whichever record that you're interested in. If we want to go to the 600 block of Smith, click it, and it's going to take us there to the 600 block of Smith Boulevard. And it highlights that feature for you. Again, you can clear this search here. Uh, we can go back to the graphical search, I mean the text search. Um, you can search for a tax parcel by typing in the 16-digit tax number. Um, you can also do a search here. You have a sub layer where you can search for the owner as well. So if I wanted to find, uh, say, find my house, I can do some, uh, last name and then first name. And this sometimes takes a little longer because it is searching through 70,000 records um, and finding every Smith in this. 
So we found we found uh, you know one Smith here. There's there's another Smith on Garden. Um, this is gonna go to my location there. So basically, so you have so you have that information. Um, you can also search a subdivision if you're looking for a certain subdivision. You can search that here as well, and it's gonna also generate a list of subdivisions. So there and there's Smith's edition. Smith and Perkins edition, if we're looking for that one. These red areas are basically all of my selections at this point. We'll also have on here, um, uh, you will have the ability to search zoning. Um, I don't have it turned on at this point, but we will have the, where you can search for zoning classifications. If you're looking for, say, an RS1 district, um, or a commercial where you want, might want to put a business, things like that, it, and it'll do the same type of search where it'll highlight all those districts for you. Um, and this is good sometimes for people looking to put in a business or if they want to move in a, uh, to the town and they want to find a certain sort of uh, zoning, then, that, then that's going to be available to you as well. Going back on this, and what, I'm going to clear this search here. We'll go, but let's do the uh, graphical search. Um, say if we're in this area and we're just interested in trying to find some parcels, we can go here and let's turn on our parcel layer. And again, you can just click on this and you can see who the owner is by clicking on this, any of these parcels. But what I want to do here is maybe I want to, uh, I want to select a group of parcels here. I can select it with this polygon and it's going to go ahead and highlight. Oops. I had this set on addresses. Um, we need this is important to remember here. You need to change it over to whatever layer you're going to search. In this case, it's going to be tax parcels, and so we'll pick that up. It's got these parcels selected, and one nice thing here you can do is you can hit this green uh, show results in grid, and it's going to basically show me those owners that you see highlighted here in red, and you can easily export that to a text or CSV file with information about those owners. Clear this search. Same thing here. I mean, you, you can if you want to if you want to customize it and get just a certain set of properties, you could do something like this and and take that set of properties. Same thing. And you can you can scroll down here and see the information. As I hover over one of these in this box, you notice it pops the pop-up box here in this location. Same thing. I can go over here and hover over it, and it'll show me the the owners of the property. Again, this is this is a basic run through of your enhanced search search tool, and um, um, that was the purpose of this demo was to kind of give you a run through of this and show you some more functionality of this tool.